All right, Master Mecha. Mecha, my man, the big winner of tonight, both with the Pokemon game and PowerPoint. Simple one. Nice, easy icebreaker question. What's your favorite color? You got a lot running on your body, but I'm sure you have one favorite color. Um. And why? Actually. <laughs> oh. That's difficult. <laughs> it, it is, because I have to choose between, like, three of my top and figure out which one is uh, more top than the other two. I'm, I'm going to... I'm gonna probably have to go with red. Red, nice. Any particular reason? It just just speaks to you. Um, so there's actually a, there is a reasoning behind that. Oh, nice. Um, and the reason why red is kind of one of my favorite colors kind of goes back to the fact that like I really liked the Red Ranger from Power Rangers a lot as a kid. Oh. I really like admired him, uh, and therefore red just kind of. Uh, just just kind of stuck as one of my favorite colors going through um so because i always think back to how, like the red ranger and how much i like them cool red ranger nice that's a good reason to like red so there you go folks let's move on to a nice one that we can get more in depth of in depth with your favorite food and least favorite food i mean le least favorite food is probably the easiest one uh i'm gonna have to say spinach spinach huh that's a new one i never heard someone say spinach yet uh now mind you i do like spinach dip but i feel like that's less spinach and more dip yeah so i don't feel <laughs> that counts um but typically anything with spinach in it i'm not a huge fan of um but as far as my favorite food goes um that's harder um <laughs> Can you like pick like? Seven? If I would have to say, I'm gonna go with. I'm just gonna go with. Um, this is gonna be a little broad, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm gonna have to sit there and say Hispanic food because that's just something I was uh, I was raised on. Oh. Um, so you know the rice, the beans, the chicken, um, uh, croquetas, uh, plantains, Tiranos. those kind of things. Yeah. Nice. So. Yeah. <laughs> any of those like particularly stand out? Did you eat any of those recently that you had a really good like? Um... Do you, do you, does any like really like really good authentic one stick out in your mind that you had like a really very flavorful one that you can't haven't forgotten about since you've tried it and maybe haven't had it again since? Uh, the last time I would say was probably the last time I really went to go see my family and my aunt did make some some real kick ass rice and beans. Ooh, homemade all of it. Oh, all of it. Wow, homemade rice and beans. So that okay. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that sounds delicious. Is it spicy? Do you like your food spicy or mild? I particularly like my food spicy, but it doesn't have to be spicy. I dig it. Yeah, same here. I love spice, but I agree. It doesn't have to be. So, um, okay, so least favorite, folks, you heard that right there. Least favorite, definitely spinach. Not spinach dip, but like you said, less spinach, more dip. And likes Hispanic <laughs> food. Grew up on it. And, like, one of his favorite ones in memory was his aunt. That's actually sounds delightful. I never had actually homemade, I think, beans. Um, homemade Spanish rice I've had, but not beans. From what I'm told, I've never personally made it myself. But from what I'm told, it's a bit of a uh, process. Ah, uh, okay. That, that's probably why. <laughs> <laughs> we <like that>. yeah. <laughs> Mimi says, what a beam. A beam? Are you going for beam or bean? I think she's going for bean. The B-E-A-N. Anyway, so, Mecca, what inspired... Oh, no, you did mean beam. Ah, what a beam of beam joy. Of joy. <laughs> ah, nice, nice. Don't... <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I won't correct you for now. Um. <laughs> uh, so, what inspires you to get onto the VTuber site, my friend? What brought you here? Okay, um, and I was definitely expecting this question because I feel like I fell into the VTubing thing ass backwards, um, and I will definitely elaborate on that. <laughs> go for it, go for it. That's This is your corner to talk about. Tell us the whole tale. All right, so initially, um, initially I never meant to actually do any VTubing when I decided to uh, pick and mod this model. Um, so initially my whole... Uh, thought process was because uh, for some of you who might not know um, I actually do 3D animation it's really been a while since I've sat down and done an actual project project um, but I've been slowly learning um, a brand new program and trying to get familiar with that so I can get back into making some projects uh, but I initially wanted to do um, Gumpla reviews 
um, on YouTube, but I wanted to do it through a animated avatar. Um, so I kind of had, I had purchased this model from someone. I had modified it to have the color scheme that it had um, because this color scheme actually matches the original Gundam's color scheme, which again was kind of fitting into the whole motif of my channel. So I was trying to just do YouTube videos. Uh, streaming live was the furthest thing from my head uh, when I was setting everything up. Uh, that's when Anna decided to bring me on to her stream. Uh, she had just started and she wanted to play Resident Evil 5 with me because we used to play that a lot together um, growing up. So she wanted to play that on stream and she wanted to play that on stream with me, uh, mostly because I had played that game so many times that I know it kind of like the front and back of my hands, literally. <laughs> um, and, and I would say the same thing with like Resident Evil 4, but I haven't played four in a minute. But I would say between, yeah, I played those games enough times that I kind of knew them back in uh, front hand and back end. Nice. Um, so after going on stream with her, um, and I was dealing with some personal stuff too, oh. and I, and after talking with pretty much Lottel, Vix, and Anna, uh, I, I just eventually sat there and said, you know what? Let my let me dip my feet into it. You know, let me just start streaming some games. Uh, I'm not going to take it super, super seriously. I'm just going to just set up and start streaming and whatever, whatever. Um, and even after I started streaming, I never really took the VTuber moniker. Um, and that was just for personal reasons. I just felt that I only had one foot in this space that I, for a little while, I felt like I didn't deserve to really be in this space because I never really, oh. uh, it, anyway, it was just a weird thought process I was having. Sure. sure. Um, and that's kind of how I just kind of got into all this. You know, I just kind of just fully embraced it. Um, I'm trying to do, I'm trying to make things better. I'm actually trying to make uh, Twitch one of my, um, one of the platforms I'm kind of prominent on. And uh, eventually I will be moving back to making uh, reviews and stuff like that. I'm probably going to also stream on uh, YouTube because it seems like some people are making that move. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much how I kind of, uh, so uh, so even with that, so the persona, the Master Mecha persona and all that other stuff kind of came way after I already had the model and everything. So it was like, oh, okay, well, since I have this, uh, even, even my name was just something I threw together in like 10 minutes because uh, she was like, well, what do you want to be called on stream? And I was like, uh, 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 just Master Mecha. Uh, and I just ran with it. Nice. So your name just came out of the spur of the moment, right at the top of your head. Yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I had no idea that your first time on the stream site was to just do a collab with Anna. Yeah. Uh, That's so I, wild. I had no, I had no Twitch channel. Um, I remember like the first person, and I, I only remember it because when, because she stuck out when she did it. Because I was like. Why she follow me? I don't stream. Because uh, I remember Shiva uh, had was my first sub. Um, oh. my first follow and I was like why did she follow me I don't stream um, but I guess she <laughs> thought I streamed at the time so <laughs> so that was that was uh, so yeah that's basically how I kind of fell uh, fell into this that's a really cool journey actually like you said folks and it was kind of a running joke I now that I distinctly remember where Anna was always joking calling you a VTuber but you were like no no not a VTuber for a while mm -hmm. and like I said it was just yeah. it was just the headspace you were in but it doesn't matter because it was fun he was still the nice guy you see before us so <laughs> Yes, thank you, Mashi. <laughs> nice and Dean, and welcome, Mashi Chu. Now you're here. This is the final corner. We're doing the interviews. We're winding down. We're talking to get to know more about Mecca and how he got here, and we learned that. So let's move right into the next one. That's some really cool stuff. I did not know that Resident Evil Five. Did not know that. I think that's awesome that you decided to come on stream with your sister and uh, join her and help her out. That was that was beautiful. I like that. Yeah. I like that origin. That's a nice. That's a very wholesome origin. Um, so since becoming a VTuber, you know this question probably you've been around. What surprised you to be the hardest thing to do and the easiest? The what surprised you though, not what you saw coming, but what surprised you to be difficult and easy? I guess what surprised me was um for the most part how kind of nice most of the people are in this space. <laughs> uh, and and I say that because uh the again, I've only been aware <laughs> Wait, what? It's the internet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the internet. You know, like I've been, I've been, I've been in so many fandoms that you know, like you'll have that really cool side of them, but then like for the most part, like the most vitriolic ones usually tend to be the loudest ones. Mm -hmm. 
So in a sense, I was kind of expecting that in this space, um, but it turns out, no, it's that's really not quite the case. I mean, you have your bad actors, obviously. Sure. Um, but for the most part, most people are quite welcoming. There's, like, there's no real, there's really no gatekeeping. Uh, nobody's discouraging people from not doing, um, not doing this. Um, that's true. So that was really surprising to me, uh, which again, considering it's the internet. <laughs> exactly. That is a surprise. And was there anything that surprised you that was easy? That was oh, easy. No, sorry, sorry. That um, was that was the easy one. I think that, that surprised you, right? That was difficult. Yeah, that yeah. surprised me. And anything that's been difficult that was kind of came out as a surprise. I think it's what everybody here kind of suffers from some point, and that's just kind of having a consistent streaming schedule or just mm. streaming consistently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, there you go. Yep, you think before you start, you're going to stick to the schedule, and then it, it happens. <laughs> I, I tried, but you know, personal stuff comes up, things come yeah, up. Yeah. Sometimes you might not be, it might be a week that you're just not, not in the mood to stream. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, totally makes sense. I feel you on that. Yeah, no, the community is quite nice here. It's quite pleasant. I ran into a few bad eggs, but you wouldn't be able to tell from their streaming appearance because they are, as you could say, not bad actors. They actually are good actors. Anyway, but... Um, yeah. <laughs> but um, good actors, not good people. Anyway, but fortunately, the, the circle you're running within Mecca is a good circle. I can vouch for so many good people right now, and there's been a wonderful line of folks. So... Oh, for sure. So, as far as video games are concerned... Which video game have you not played that you are most look most looking forward to playing eventually? It doesn't have to be on stream. And it could be any game that you've never played but you've been wanting to play. Do you have one that jumps to the top of the list? Uh, Elden Ring. <gasps> I have not played it yet. You've not played Elden Ring? I have not played Elden Ring yet. Oh. But I want to. <laughs> that was easy. That's a quick answer right there if I was Elden Ring. You want, are you going to stream that one too? Or are you just going to play that in your own time? I, you know what? Honestly, I don't know. Cool, it's up in the air. Elden Ring. Oh, that's a fun game. That's a good game. I played that when I finished, and I'm already on uh, game, New Game Plus. So, oh, it's a, nice. it's a tough one, though. It's a tough one, but so much fun. So much fun. <laughs> Elden Ring, folks. So look toward in the future if Mecha decides to stream it. I, I'll, I'll catch those streams, man. And unlike... Now, there's one thing I want to give you a heads up for the Elden Ring chats. I have heard from Elden Ring players that the most difficulty and stressful part about stressing El uh, playing Elden Ring is not the bosses or the difficulty level. It's that chat always tries to tell the player where to go. But since your community is really good, I don't think you have to worry about that. But uh, So just be aware of that. Okay. I mean, thanks for the heads up. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, some people like, take backseating way too seriously and can't, just can't be patient with the, with the player, so... Yep, Sh Spirit Shift says that is completely true. Yeah, people just can't can't be patient and sit their asses down, and shut up, and let the player play. So <laughs> keep an eye out. Uh, let's see here. No, we know that one already. Uh, oh, okay, what's been one of your your solo streams, your favorite stream thus far? If you have a few of them, even that's like jumped to your mind, a favorite stream of yours that you've had, that you've done, like on your channel, kind of thing. So I would probably say one of my favorite streams was prob. I would say it's probably the first time I did um, a gunpla building stream, uh, where I built the uh, real grade Zazabi. Nice. Because, yeah, um, <laughs> um, hey, you want to share us a picture of that, like a stock photo that you can DM me? I can show it right here to the folks what you're talking about. Um. Let me just. Yeah, yeah. See. I'm pretty sure I have. Spirit says people don't like open world oh. games where you can decide where to do. They want you to stay on this imaginary path. <laughs> yeah, like why? Let's see. Yep. Now I got a picture here. Or did I not post? I think I posted to Twitter. Yep, send it here. I, will I gotta, I gotta rummage through my, I gotta rummage through my photos. Cause yeah, I want to see what I, you I, maybe that's the other thing. <laughs> Actually, it's not even that. Like, I don't have things organized. The problem is, is that I'm super specific where I keep my stuff organized. Poffle, Poffle, Kiki, hello, Poffle. Poffle is 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 
very, very impressive VTuber. She's a British VTuber as well. Hello, mm. how are you, Poffle? We have been meaning to do a collab and plan it for the longest time. Poffle, let me ask you something. Will you be available in about an hour or two for now? from now? I know it's probably like really early for you because I'm trying to uh, get, get her into a voice chat to plan. I'm just checking. But if you just want to stop by, don't worry about it. We'll find another time. But welcome, let me, let me, yeah, so Poffle's an awesome, awesome person. Very chill, got great vibes. She's, she's terrific. I'm, so, I'm sorry, Gio. It's, it's taking me a minute to find you. No, 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 that's okay. That's okay. Don't, don't, don't apologize. Don't apologize. I, I'm, I'm entertaining the folks. Poffle says, I'm good. Left my outfit. It's like 4 a.m., so not tonight, unfortunately. Let's do it this Monday, though. Monday will work. Monday will work. DM me a time here in Discord, uh, Poffle, if you can. DM me a time, to, and uh, I believe I'm six hours behind your time, so... It's 4 a.m. for you now. It's 10 p.m. for me now. Yeah, it's a six-hour difference. So, yes, Anna's back. And Mimi says, Anna! BBG. Here, I'm I'm going to send... I'm going to, like, take a picture off the internet. Because it's basically still the same thing. Yeah, precisely. Excellent. Pop, pop. So I'm trying to find one of my photos. That's not... Ugh, that's not happening. Poffa will put me at a time <laughs> when I when, when she wakes up. Perfect. I, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it. Yeah, DM, DM me the, the picture. Look at Anna and Mimi getting along, the two little siblings. Okay. Let me save this out. Why does he keep saving out to that file format? It's so weird. And then when we show off this gunpla, Mimi says, Anna, are you in the server? The kind of cringe server. Alright, I just DM'd you a photo. Oh, that's a this is a nice looking model. Okay, here, let me uh here it is, folks. All right. So yeah, um, this is this is the model so right here. That was really fun to build on stream. Yeah, so this one was a highlight of one of your streams building this one. Did you build the whole thing? Yes. How long did that take? That took me a while. I think that took me about seven to eight streams, and they were at least about three to four hours each. Wow. Seven to eight streams, three to four hours each. Holy crap! Yeah, <laughs> like it's it was um because it's a very I don't want to say complex, but there's just uh the uh, the um so like most model kits kind of go by grades, and the real grades tend to be a lot more complex than like high grades. So there's just a lot more pieces um that have to be assembled. So that's why it just took me so long. Like. There'd be some streams where, like, I'd be lucky to finish, like, the feet or the legs in the stream, you know? Right. Jeez. That is terrific. Uh, Poffle says she's a... I'm a Barbatos Lupus Rex fan myself. Ooh, I love the Lupus Rex. Oh, he knew what you were talking about. I love about. when it goes monkey mode. <laughs> nice. I'm glad we have someone who understood the Gunpla talk. I don't know it, but I love hearing about it. I love hearing the passion. <laughs> so, you're saying, like, all the streams put together were your favorites, or the one where you actually finished constructing it i would actually say all the streams put together mostly because i didn't expect it to go as well as it did oh nice yeah so paul he does do gunpla construction streams put them together like actually you see him putting it together irl stuff hands you know hand cams and um putting it together <laughs> on stream so if you ever have a time to catch that you should although i don't know if the time works out but it's really relaxing to do it i like watching them and whatnot yeah poggy indeed Poffle, indeed yes <laughs> Oh, that's that's awesome. That that was the the song that you love. Okay, let's see here. And that that was a good wrap up match right there. We got to show the awesome favorites. That that'll be it for all our questions right here.